They're off in pacing. Wispy Raven left for the lead. In between horses, Sabotage your left. Along the inside is Sam's brother, Sai. Bad seat on the outside looks to drop in fourth. Coming away fifth is Cam Scott. Racing in sixth to the back stretch. Steel Mill Joe in seventh position. That's Guy. They move on to the back stretch and race to the quarter. Your leader by a length and a quarter is Wispy Raven in second position. Sabotager Sam's brother, Cy, third. Bad seat, fourth. Two lengths back. Cam Scott is fifth. On the inside, Steel Mill Joe, sixth. Vermont Road on the move, seventh. Lit a guy at the end. The opening quarter in 28 and three. They race to the half, and your leader by a length and a quarter is Wispy Raven. Sabotager right there is strong. Second and third position, Sam's brother, Cy. Now on the outside, Cam Scott moves first over in the fourth. Vermont Road gains behind that one, fifth. Bad Seed shuffled sixth. On the inside, Steel Mill Joe seventh. Lit a guy on the move from eighth. Halfway home, 58 and four. Eight lanes would cover the field. Final half mile and your leader, Wispy Raven on the outside. Cam Scott continues to advance without cover. Sabotager begins to look for Ray Seagerman third. Vermont Road gains on the outside, fourth. Sam's brother side, no place to go along the inside, fifth. Moving up six, lit a guy on the inside, bad seat shuffled seventh, Steel Mill Joe shuffled to last. Heads are turned for home in the opener at Balmoral. Your leader is Wispy Raven, Sabotager screaming out for Racing Room second. Bermuda Road now closing up on the outside third, dropping back fourth, Cam Scott. Final eighth of a mile, Wispy Raven the leader. Sabotager now in between horses, comes out for the drive on the outside, Bermuda Road. It's Wispy Raven, Sabotager, Bermuda Road, these three in a drive to the wire. Wispy Raven, a final move by Sabotager. Wispy Raven still there, very tight. They're off and pacing. Patient Max D left well for the lead. From the outside, driving out. Holly Hill action down along the pylons. The guy dance would came away third. Jaunty Jesse looks to drop in fourth. Holding the inside in fifth is how you've been, Ben. In sixth position to the quarter, Adams Row. Then it's a two and a half length gap. The winning nature next. It's Awesome Hope followed on the inside by Instead of Red. And the early trailer is Incredible Storm. They move on to the back stretch and pass the quarter in 27 and four fifths. Holly Hill action leads by two. Patient Max D now closing the gap second off stride in the back of the pack. The guy he danced with, the guy he danced with made a break. They approach the half and Holly Hill action going strong leads by two. Patient Max D second by five. Jaunty Jesse is third. How you been Ben tips to the outside fourth. Adams Road fifth, the rest of the field's far back in sixth. That's Winning Nature sixth. The guy dance with back pacing seventh instead of red eighth. They went by the half in 56 and one fifth. They move around the turn and patient Max D now powers up to reclaim the lead, draws away by two. Holly Hill action racing second. How you been Ben Gaines on the outside third. Racing in fourth on the inside of horses, Adam, uh, Jaunty Jesse. Then it's Adams Road fifth. They're in the stretch, three quarters, 125 and one. It's Patient Max D, the leader by two. How you been, Ben? Now closing up on the outside. Holly Hill action trying to fight back along the inside. It's Patient Max D saying bye bye, and he draws away by six, now by seven. Holly Hill action still racing strongly in second. How you been, Ben? Third. It's Patient Max D, the leader, and he's drawing away to win it by eight. It's going to be Holly Hill action holding on to second. It's going to be close for third between winning nature and incredible storm tight for third. Far back at the start is on Alaska Bay. Trotters are sent on their way, and on the far outside, Victory Jammer left for the lead. In between horses, Speedy Uno left. Then along the inside, Lexi Willoughby came away third. Neatly finding a good early spot fourth is Jackie's Paramount coming away fifth. Harbor Cove Court in sixth position to the quarter. Fox Valley Bravo, then it's a two-length gap to Trotton Cardinal seventh. On Alaska Bay is eighth, and Chess Player trails the field. 
Third race, Trotters move on to the back stretch, and from the outside, Victory Jammer now takes the lead by the quarter, 29 and 2. Up the back stretch they go, Victory Jammer, the leader by two, racing in second. Speedy Uno with the leaders third, Lexi Willoughby. It's a five length gap to Jackie's Paramount fourth, another four back, and the outside, Fox Valley Bravo on the move fifth. Trotting six to the half, Harbor Cove Court. Racing in seven, Trotton Cardinal, then it's on Alaska Bay and still trailing chess player. Chess player is 20 lanes from the leader. They went by the half in 58 and four. They move around the turn and Victory Jammer leads by three. Speedy Uno trotting second and third position on the inside, Lexi Willoughby. Ranging up on the outside, fourth comes Fox Valley Bravo, Jackie's Paramount towards the inside, fifth. Trotting Cardinal on the outside, sixth, and he needs to make up seven lengths. Trotting eighth on the outside of horses on Alaska Bay and off stride on the turn, Trotting Cardinal. Trotting Cardinal made a break. Trotters are on their way home, and Victory Jammer's the one to catch. He leads by two and a half lengths. Speedy Uno trying to come on again, second. Lixie Willoughby, third. In fourth position, that's Fox Valley Bravo. Final eighth of a mile, Victory Jammer leads by four. Speedy Uno second. Here's Jackie's Paramount now closing on the inside. But Neil Coleman's going to get back to back winners as he drives Victory Jammer under the finish wire, five on top. Speedy Uno second. It's going to be tight for third. Jackie's Paramount over Lexi Willoughby. They're off and pacing on the outside. Proud Heart left sharply for the lead. In between horses, party gigs left. Then along the inside, Tanya. Three across the track, battling for the lead. Coming away fourth is Carolina Courtney in fifth position to the back stretch. Claire E. Settling in sixth is Holly's upset in seventh position. JV's Principessa. Shoot for the stars eighth. Native Deb ninth. Carson's cutie at the end. They move on to the back stretch and race to the quarter. Party gigs on the inside. Proudheart on the outside. Heads apart off a quarter. 29 and 2. Now it's Proudheart surging to the front. They've paced three eighths of a mile and Proudheart leads. Racing in second. Party gigs. Tanya racing in third. And Tanya's having a bit of road trouble now as the field seems to be backed down a little bit by the pace. In fourth position to the half, Carolina Courtney. They race to the half, and your leader, Proud Heart, now on the outside, second. That's party gigs towards the inside in third, Tanya. Halfway home, 59 and 3. They move around the turn. It's Proud Heart, the leader, party gigs on the outside, second. Tanya still no place to go in third. Ranging up on the outside, fourth comes Clary, losing ground, fifth inside is Carolina Courtney. Then ranging up on the outside on the turn comes Native Deb. Make that on the outside, shoot for the stars. They turn for home. Proud Heart leads on the outside. Party gigs, three quarters, 129 and two. They're in the stretch. Proud Heart leads by two. Party gigs dropping back second. Tanya needs racing room third. On the outside, closing ground in the stretch is Clary. Final eighth of a mile. Proud Heart, the leader. Clary closing up on the outside. Tanya's down along the inside. It's Proudheart the leader. Clary's not gaining at all as they come to the wire. Proudheart has the lead and Proudheart to win it. Tanya back for second. Clary hung late and finished third. Trotters are sent on their way. Speedmaster and Vanna Triton left for the lead from the outside driving out. Jackie's baby. They battle for position as they race into the turn. Speedmaster leads. Jackie's baby three wide up to be second. Vanna Triton now drops in third. Fair Courtney fourth. Three wide to be fifth. Chassis Express on the outside. Park six. Wishful Chinaman seventh on the inside. Is L Bird. It's a two length gap to nothing can stop us. Another two back to Gene Raider trailing the field poaching. Quarter went in 29 and 2, and up the back stretch they go from the outside. Chassis Express now takes the lead. Racing in second, Jackie's Baby in third, Speedmaster Vanna Triton fourth. And the outside moving up to be fifth, that's Wishful Chinaman. Sixth along the inside, Fair Courtney. 
They race to the half, a battle for the lead. On the outside, Chassis Express. On the inside, Jackie's Baby. Jackie's Baby reclaims the lead. Halfway home, 58-2, and two, and around the turn they go. Jackie's Baby on the inside. Chassis Express on the outside. They battle head and head for the lead. Speedmaster is strong. Third, Banna Triton tips to the outside. Fourth, coming out on the outside. Fifth is Wishful Chinaman. Sixth along the inside with no place to go. That's Fair Courtney, then to the outside, nothing can stop us, seventh. In eighth position on the inside, L. Bird racing in ninth, Gene Raider poaching at the end. Trotters turn for home on the inside, Jackie's Baby on the outside, Chassis Express, they're still going head and head for the lead. Vanna Triton trying to come on third, Speedmaster needs racing room fourth. On the outside, closing ground, Wishful Chinaman, he's been parked the mile. Still further out, closing ground, Gene Raider in between horses. Nothing can stop us. There's eight across the track. It's wide open. Speedmaster now coming through the open stretch. Speedmaster, best of all, coming through to get the lead. Gene Raider second, Wishful Chinaman third. They're off and pacing. High Risk Express left sharply for the lead. From the far outside, driving out is Royal Powder. Off stride into the turn. Holly Hill Hopper. Holly Hill Hopper made a right hand turn. They move on to the back stretch. High Risk Express, the leader. Royal Powder, second. Racing in third is Mr. Brad. Four lanes back to Anxious to Be Me, fourth. Racing in fifth is Pacing Finale. In sixth position to the back stretch, that's Holly Hill Hopper. He's back pacing. Then it's BP's best, Culver Cadet, off to the races. And Corky's finale, he's been out of it from the word go. They went by the quarter, 28 and 3, and up the back stretch they go. It's High Risk Express, the leader, Royal Powder, right there, a strong second by five. In third position to the half, Mr. Brad. Racing in fourth, anxious to be me on the outside, rolling up fifth to the. To the half is BP's best. Then to the outside, Holly Hill Hopper's on the move, followed by Culver Cadet off to the races and Corky's finale. Half and 58 flat, they move around the turn. High Risk Express, the leader. Royal Powder Racing, second on the outside, coming on third is BP's best. Saving ground inside fourth, Mr. Brad Holly Hill Hopper on the outside fifth, and he's only six lengths from the leader. Then to the outside in seventh as they turn for home. Pacing finale in the stretch. Three quarters, 127 flat. High risk express holding firm. Royal Powders had a perfect trip tonight in second. Coming back on the inside. Third is Mr. Brad. Final three sixteenths. High risk express leads by two. Royal Powder out for the drive but is not gaining. On the outside, Mr. Brad and a late move by Anxious to be me. High Risk Express, the leader, and he starts to draw away. High Risk Express going to win it by four. Mr. Brad up fast for second. It's going to be tight for third. Royal Powder over anxious to be me. They're off and pacing on the inside. Jargo left well for the lead. In between horses, Mr. Sweetness left. Three wide into the turn. Let's go, Nick. Four wide on the turn. Johnny Pesh to go. Moving up from the outside, looking for an early spot is Sentinel. Rosie's Lightning came away next. Then to the outside, it's He'll Be Classy, followed by Arnie. Heroic is ninth in the early trailer, Scotty Nippin. They move on to the back stretch and race to the quarter from the outside. Let's go, Nick now takes the lead. Quarter, 29 and three, let's go, Nick the leader. Racing in second, Mr. Sweetness in third position, Jargo. Racing in fourth on the inside, Johnny Peshtigo. Then to the outside, Sentinels on the move fifth, followed up on the outside by Hilby Classy sixth. Rosie's Lightning towards the inside, no place to go seventh. Arnie to the outside eighth, and Arnie's about seven lanes from the leader. Racing up ninth is Heroic, Scotty Nippin at the end. They race off the half, 58 and two, and your new leader now is Jargo. They move around the turn, Jargo to the front. Here comes, he'll be classy, moving up on the outside, second. Let's go, Nick, tucked in along the inside, third. On the outside with cover, fourth. That's he'll be classy, Sentinels the first over. He's on the outside, second. 
Final three-eighths of the mile. Sentinel on the outside. Jargo on the inside. These two battle for the lead. Let's go. Nick is third. Tipping out wide for the drive. He'll be classy. Heads are turned for home in the seventh at Balmoral. On the inside. Jargo on the outside. Sentinel. He'll be classy. He's closing up out in the center of the track. Arnie's also coming on fourth. Final eighth of a mile. Jargo's done along the inside. On the outside, he'll be classy in between horses. Sentinel, it's Jargo. Here comes Doug Hamilton, and he'll be classy. Win number 3,500 for Doug Hamilton with he'll be classy. Jargo second, and Sentinel was third. Trotters are sent on their way, and on the outside, never Jamie B. left for the lead. Gum Corner Lad showing speed tonight. Then along the inside is Tiger Magoo in between horses, moving up fourth, Investment Fund. On the outside in fifth, Brandy Baby coming away sixth along the inside, tearing around. Then on the outside, Park seventh, that's Cooper Randolph in eighth position, Johnny Charger racing in ninth, Fox Valley Bengal, four Barons at the end. They sort themselves out as they move on to the back stretch and pass the quarter. 29 seconds flat. Never Jamie B in control. Gum Corner Lad trotting second. Tiger Magoo third. In fourth is Investment Fund. Brandy Baby fifth. Two lanes back. Taryn Round sixth and seventh position on the inside. Cooper Randolph. Off stride Johnny Charger. Johnny Charger made a break. Now moving up to take over eighth is Fox Valley Bengal. Four Barron's ninth. Trailing the field. Johnny Charger. They race to the half with never Jamie B showing the way off a half, 59 and 3. They move around the turn, never Jamie B, the leader, Gum Corner Lad racing second. In between horses, Investment Fund comes on third. Tiger Gurmagoo, no place to go fourth. Terran Round caught three wide fifth. In between horses without racing room is Brandy Baby. The top six are bunches. They reach the top of the stretch, never Jamie B holding firm. Gum Corner Lad needs racing room second on the outside and third. Investment Fun tearing round far outside fourth. Brandy Baby wants racing room fifth. Also looking for room is Tiger Magoo. Final three sixteenths of the mile. Here comes Gum Corner Lad up to get the lead. On the inside, never Jamie B second. Tiger Magoo now coming on third. Here comes Cooper Randolph on the far outside. Gum Corner Lad has the lead as they come down to the wire. It's been a long time coming, but Gum Corner Lad finally finds the winner's circle in 1997. He beats Tiger Magoo, then it's tight for third. They're off and pacing. Boo Bird left for the lead from the outside. Jingle Jingle drives out, and Jingle Jingle now powers up to take the lead. Boobird back to second, Society Gin third, Shady Society fourth, three wide to the back stretch. That's restricted cam towards the inside, Beach Banquet now sixth, hung out there in seventh, Fellas Opal. In eighth position to the quarter, Lake Kills Ivy, then it's flashy finale ninth, trailing the field, May Scooter. They race by the quarter, 28 and three, and up the back stretch they go, Jingle Jingle, the leader by two, Bur -bur Boo Bird racing second, five, five, Society Gin third on the inside and fourth. That Shady Society restricted cam out there fifth. Fellas Opal's gonna be hung a while. She moves up six towards the inside. Beach Banquet seventh. Racing an eighth on the inside. That's Lake Hills Ivy. Then to the outside moving up. May Scooter trailing flashy finale. 57 and one, they're halfway home and around the turn, jingle, jingle, the leader a length and a half. On the outs, on the inside, Boo Bird second. It's a two length gap to Society Gin third. On the outside, Restricted Cam fourth. Shady Society, no place to go fifth. Fellas Opal out there sixth and she's getting set to go three wide. They're at the top of the stretch. Jingle, jingle, tells them all, catch me if you can as she turns for home. Boo Bird uh, within striking distance, second as she comes out for the drive. It's Jingle Jingle, the leader by two. Boo Bird trying to come on, second. Racing up to be third is Shady Society. Society Jan is fourth. It's Jingle Jingle, the leader. Here comes Shady Society charging up on the outside with Boo Bird on the inside. A late move by Beach Banquet. Your leader still is Jingle Jingle. Here comes Beach Banquet on the outside. 
Jingle Jingle still in front. Beach Banquet second and Shady Society was third. Jesse came away well to be third. Trotting in between horses fourth is Ken Holly coming away fourth now on the inside. Jade Ken Holly parked looking to drop in fifth. Swiss Silk holding inside sixth. Cardinal Lexi on the outside seventh and the entry the trailing trios. Fox Valley heroine Savannah Lee and Fox Valley maiden at the end. Three-year-old Illinois bred trotting fillies moved by the quarter 28 and four a battle for the lead. On the outside Rosie Posey and now Rosie Posey takes the lead and draws clear a length and a half. Heather Chelsea in second, BG's Jesse third. Racing in fourth to the half is Jade on the outside, parked fifth, Ken Holly. Swiss Silk, no place to go, sixth on the outside, Cardinal Lexi seventh, and she's about six lengths from the leader. Then to the outside, Fox Valley Heroine is eighth. Racing in ninth, Savannah Lee trailing but on the move from tenth, Fox Valley Maiden. Five on the inside, five on the outside, and nine, nine lengths would cover them all. Off a half and 58 seconds flat. Midway on the turn, it's Rosie Posey, the leader of length. Ken Holly's been parked the mile. She's out there in second. Towards the inside, needing racing room in third is Heather Chelsea. BG's Jesse, no place to go on the inside. Then to the outside, three wide. Here comes Heather. Here comes Cardinal Lexi, and right behind her, Fox Valley Heroin. Trotters turn for the money. It's Rosie Posey still with the lead. Heather Chelsea needs racing room second on the outside, closing ground through the stretch. Here comes Cardinal Lexi. Now it's Cardinal Lexi rushing up to take the lead and draw away by two. Rosie Posey trying to fight back second, far outside, closing ground. Fox Valley Maiden, your leader, Heather Chelsea. Fox Valley Maiden is flying. BG's Jesse on the inside. Your leader is Cardinal Lexi, and she holds on to win it. Fox Valley made in second. They're off and pacing on the far outside. CEO Broadway Bastion and Flying Cam Chevy all left sharply. Coming away fourth is Idiom in fifth position to the back stretch. Grand Cam. Coming away sixth is Storm and Rambo TNT on the outside. Park seventh is dual fiddle skipper. He looks to drop in and he will right in front of Cold Encounter. Then on the outside, DJ's Dream. Ron Santo is the trailer. They pass the opening quarter in 28 seconds flat from the outside. CEO now takes the lead. It's CEO, the leader, racing in second. Broadway Bastion flying cam Chevy third. And now Broadway Bastion drives from the pocket. It's Broadway Bastion now taking the lead. There goes Idiom charging up on the outside, second. Racing in third, CEO, Flying Cam, Chevy fourth. To the outside, moving up fifth. Grand Cam right behind him, sixth to the half. Is Storm and Rambo TNT, and they went by the half in a snappy 55 and 2. Midway on the term, Idiom now takes the lead, racing in second. Broadway Bastion, CEO third, ranging up on the outside fourth is Grand Cam Stormin Rambo TNT gains with cover fifth, and he's only four lengths from the leader. Flying Cam Chevy, no place to go sixth, then to the outside, dual fiddle skipper comes on seventh. Off stride in the back of the pack is Cold Encounter. Three quarters, 124 and one, they're in the stretch. Broadway Bastion now rushing up to reclaim the lead. It's Broadway Bastion now taking the lead. Idiom trying to fight back second. CEO third. Looking for racing room in the open stretch is Flying Cam Chevy. It's Broadway Bastion the leader. Flying Cam Chevy closing on the inside. Broadway Bastion in front. Flying Cam Chevy second. Idiom was third. They're off and pacing along the inside, wandering close left for the lead. Coming away on the inside, Lake Hills Dan to be second. In between horses, driving out is Charlie Bear. On the inside, fourth, Bandana Bandit parked and moving up fifth. Noteworthy dude, sixth on the inside, Klaus. Three wide to the quarter is Madden in seventh. In between horses, eighth, Poco Hawk. Moving up to be ninth, Dick the Bruiser. Supermask is the early trailer. 
Nightcap Pacers move on to the back stretch, and Charlie Bear now takes the lead off a quarter. 29 seconds flat. It's Charlie Bear to the front. Wandering close second. There goes Noteworthy Dude. Rolling up on the outside was fourth. Now third. Now second. Madden's going to be around him. Madden now three wide to take the lead. Noteworthy Dude second. Charlie Bear is third. Along the inside and fourth with no place to go. Wandering close. On the outside, parked and moving up fifth to the half. That's Poco Hawk. They've reached the half in 58-1, and one, and around the turn they go. It's Madden, the leader, by two. Noteworthy dude, second, a length and a quarter. Charlie Bear is third. Wandering close, needs racing room fourth. Poco Hawk hanging on the outside, fifth. Lake Hills, Dan, no place to go, sixth. Dick the Bruiser moving up three wide, seventh. Right behind him, Supermass comes on eighth. Shuffled ninth along the inside is Bandana Bandit shuffled last. Klaus heads are turned for home in the nightcap. Madden has the lead. Noteworthy Dude comes out for the drive in second. Charlie Bear towards the inside needs the open stretch third. Wandering close to the outside fourth. Closing ground on the far outside fifth is Lake Hills Dan. It's Madden the leader. Charlie Bear's coming to him on the inside. Noteworthy Dude on the outside. That's Madden with the lead. Noteworthy Dude second. Madden still in front, Noteworthy Dude second, Pocahawk third.